Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Nirbhay missile program has been successful and it was a technology demonstrator to prove the indigenous cruise missile technology. The development of Nirbhay with Russian NPU Saturn 36 MT engine is complete. To take Nirbhay missile program to next stage, ITCM was started aimed to achieve 100% indigenization. The indigenous technology cruise missile ITCM is a program to develop Nirbhay cruise missile with indigenous small turbofan engine STFE of 400 kg force thrust class. Now during the Defence Expo 2022, the Joint Director of ITCM project had informed that one more test is planned for Nirbhay missile this month end. The missile will be powered by GTRE's STFE engine. Till now, eight flight trials of Nirbhay has been conducted. The ITCM program is planned to be concluded by July 2023. ITCM is going to be again a technology demonstrator with 100% indigenous content. Post the completion of ITCM, two more spin-off of this program is planned. The first one is long-range land attack cruise missile or LR LSCM for Indian Army and air launch cruise missile ALCM for Indian Air Force. As per the latest report from the New Indian Express, a fresh test of India's indigenous technology cruise missile failed on Friday after its engine reportedly developed snags. The system, a technology demonstrator, was tested with indigenously developed small turbofan engine STFE Manik and an upgraded radio frequency seeker from integrated test range ITR off Odisha coast. The engine developed technical glitches after the initial booster phase and the missile plunged into the sea within 30 seconds of the launch. The missile had assumed significance as the missile with indigenous STFE developed by GTRE would pave the way for development of a long-range land attack cruise missile that the country has been expecting since long. The engine was supposed to start after the initial takeoff from the specially designed mobile launcher, but it did not start possibly owing to snag. Since the engine did not start, it would be difficult to say how it developed snags and whether any external factor was responsible for it. Issues if any with the design of system will also will be looked into by DRDO. This was the second failure of the system in last two years. Of the three tests of the ITCM conducted since 2020, two have failed and one has achieved partial success. The first failed test of ITCM was conducted in October 2020, which was aborted in just eight minutes. The missile deviated from the pre-coordinated flight path, prompting the mission team to kill the missile in mid-air to prevent damages to human habitation. DRDO had conducted second test on August 11, 2021. The subsonic cruise missile was tested for 100 kilometers in flight and 15 minutes in time. The firing was partial success and the indigenous engine was successfully tested, but the delivery platform came down to inexplicable reasons, maybe a snag in the controller, but the engine worked well. Talking about Nirvai's specification, it is India's first subsonic cruise missile having a cruising speed of 0.7 Mach. The missile can be launched from multiple platforms. It will follow low flight path with cruise altitude of 100 meters and capable of carrying conventional and strategic warheads. It can carry PCB or BCF type warhead. The missile has a range of 1000 kilometers with overall weight of 1450 kg. The missile has overall length of 7.6 meter and diameter of 520 mm. The missile uses inertial navigation system augmented with GPS for mid-course guidance and for terminal homing, it can use either RF or EOIR seeker. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.